hello everyone in this video we will learn about history of operating system and different types of services provided by the operating system so let us start with the history of operating system first generation that is from 1945 to 1955 in this generation vacuum tubes and plug boards were used to develop computer system this is the photo of vacuum tubes that were used during first generation this is the photo of plug board that were used during first generation to develop computer next second generation that is from 1955 to 1965 in second generation transistor was used to develop system and the machine that was developed during second generation is known as mainframe computer here the mainframe computer is a large computer that may be a room size computer that were used by a corporate companies for a particular task such as for processing large amount of data and these mainframe computers were used base system for the processing so let us see how base system will work this is the figure of base system that consist of two different types of computers first one is 1401 computer second one is 7094 computer here both of these computer will perform a particular single task means this computer cannot perform more than one task same as 7094 cannot perform more than one task so here 1401 is for input output and 7094 computer is for processing so how it works in figure a this programmer will bring card that contains batch of job job to 1401 in figure b this 1401 system will read the batch of job job from card reader to tape drive once the data or once the batch of job is moved from card to tape drive this tape drive is carried out by operator to 7094 for processing So here in D seven zero nine four does computer means will perform processing. Once the computing is done, again this operator carries the tape drive from seven zero nine four to one four zero one for printing. So and again in figure F, this one four zero one will print the output. So one four zero one is for input and output, and seven zero nine four is for computing or for processing. next third generation that is from 1965 to 1980 in third generation i see that is integrated circuits were used in the place of transistor this is the figure of integrated circuit the main concept that is used in third generation is multi programming means it provides multi programming that means the ability to have several programs in memory at the same time each in its own memory portion so in third generation it supports multi programming means computers develop in third generation will support multi programming next move to fourth generation that is from 1980 to present computers develop in fourth generation is nothing but a personal computer that we right now are using in this in the fourth generation LSI that is large scale integration circuits were used to develop computer here LSI is nothing but a chip that contains thousands of transistors that were used in this system so this is the history of operating system from first generation to fourth generation now next move further to different types of services provided by the operating system or we can say OS services or task of operating system Now before starting this topic let us revise the definition of operating system as we have already seen a operating system is a collection of software that manages hardware resources and provide various services to the user now we have already seen this task of operating system that is how it manage resources or how it manage hardware resources and why it is required to manage hardware resources now here in this video we will see which type of services does the operating system provide
which are the different types of services that operating system is providing let us start one by one first task is program development here operating system will provide editor debugger or we can say compiler to application programmer or to programmer for creating any program here this user or this programmer is doing some programming so here this editor is provided by operating system once this programmer will write complete program after that this programmer will compile or run this program to compile and run this program the debugger or compiler is required that is also provided by operating system second service is program execution now following tasks need to be performed to execute any program suppose you have already written program in c language using turbo c or so many other editors so let us see how the program runs from starting to output of that program this one is source file means you are writing some program in some tools or in some editor so this one is your program name is sample.c once you have written program in turbo c if you want to compi compile your program then you will press alt f9 so you have pressed alt f9 so your code is given to compiler to compile if there is any error then it gives a list of error to you on editor if program doesn't have any error then your program is to be converted into object file that is sample.obj then after linker will link different types of header file to your program like you are are using studio.h conu.h etc so here this linker will link this header file into your program and will convert your program into executable that is sample.exe now this portion is compilation portion means in this portion your program is to be compiled once your program is compiled successfully after that you will press ctrl f9 to run your program once you press ctrl f9 it will perform two tasks first your program is to be loaded into memory and then will execute by cpu these types of task is done by operating system so here the operating system will load your data or some data into your memory and it will initialize your io devices to execute your program so the operating system will handle all these duties for user third one is access to io devices that is resource allocation whenever you are running any program it becomes simply a process so that running program may require io devices which may involve file or some input or output device for efficiency and protection user cannot control io devices directly means user directly cannot access any device whenever the process requires so here operating system will control these io devices and provide to a particular user or a particular process whenever they require so os will centrally control all the resources as per the requirement then after memory management os manage memory hierarchy os keeps track of which part of memory area in use and which part of memory area is free for example if we consider this is our memory that is divided into four portion means four part first portion second portion third and fifth right now process p1 is there in portion one means in first part your process p1 is already loaded so this portion is already allocated to process p1 this three part is already free right now it's free so here operating system will keep track that this first part is already allocated and this three part is free it allocates memory to program when they need it for example suppose right now process p1 is already there in memory in first portion or in first part at the same time process p2 arrives 
this process p2 wants to execute so this process must be loaded into memory so operating system will allocate a space from this empty space to this process p2 so here this second part or second portion of memory is allocated to process p2 this is allocation of memory is done by operating system it deallocates the memory when program finishes its execution means suppose this process p1 finishes execution and when it completed it will deallocate memory from this process next one is control access to file now in case of file access OS provides a direct directory hierarchy for easy access and management of file means we have a directory access suppose a root directory is website inside this website we have three another directory application one application two application three in application one we have two different files page a dot htm page b dot htm again application two directory is empty again in application three directory we have two file and one directory that is two file page one dot htm page two dot htm and one directory that is media again in media we have two different files so we have directory hierarchy in our system now os provides various file handling command using which user can easily read write and modify these files so we operating system will simply use different types of command to read write or modify any of files from this directory structure next communication now whenever we are having multi programming environment means more than one task or more than one program is to be carried out into our system in such a case the process need to be communicate with each other and they will exchange the information or data for example this one is say, these two are the different processes here this process will send data or information to this process by using some communication channel so here both of these process can communicate with each other this functionality is given by operating system that will support to communicate two different processes of your system so operating system performs communication among various types of process in the form of shared memory next error detection and response error, an error may occur in cpu or in io device or in memory for example sometimes you have seen like this uh, you have given print command to print any document and you will get error like this print printer is not ready so this type of error is given by operating system is operating system will detect such error and will display this error to user then after accounting here the accounting means it will keep the track of which user are using how much and what kind of computer resource and which resource are right now free so it will continuously calculating how many resources are used by how many user and for what purpose so here if we consider we are having six user so we are having these different resources between these six users so the operating system will keep track of how many users are using which resources user statistics are used to reconfigure the system to improve the computing service and last one is protection and security protection involves ensuring or give surety that all the access to the system resource is controlled to make system secure the user need to authenticate himself or herself to the system until and unless the user is not authorized that resource is not to be accessed by any user so these are the different types of services provided by the operating system thank you very much